looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's up, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got quite a few things, actually. Quite some surprises. Some, some obviously, some Daily Legends. Of course, Saturday Legends. Now, for all you guys do know, on Saturdays, we do not have the EA stream. So, for anyone who is always looking to look up that stuff on Saturdays, it's not there. So, kind of have to watch from YouTube or just stay in touch with, you know, Madden itself, the auction block, and a few other things. Now, these cards could take a while to get on the block. We have a few things. Now, as of the in-game messaging does not show that they are in-game yet. So, as you guys do know with that, EA typically has been pretty adamant with the fact that if the in-game messaging is not up, that means that if you pull packs, you will not get make rights for it. So, I'm not sure that's going to hold true today. Probably, so I don't know if I'd go opening a bunch of packs right now because at the time it says limited time, it does not say anything else. But as you guys know, we got a tribute card, we got some legends. But before we get into the video, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell, come join the family, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below, let me know what you guys think of the tribute Philip Rivers. If you guys don't already know, uh, it's, it's, you know, they tweeted them out everything last night. But we're gonna go over it today. I'm gonna open up a few packs as well as soon as I know they are in game. Let's go check them out though, see if they are. And if not, I'll go over some of the pictures and then come back to the packs. Um, but hopefully they are up. If you guys do need coins to pick up any of these cards, head over to Mutt Reserve down below and use code Poodle for 30% off. That's sort by newest, so it does not look like we got anything. Now, I don't think Tribute would be its own thing, so probably just under limited edition, right? I don't see anything just yet, so I'm not going to go ahead and just open packs just yet. Let's make sure I don't see anything just yet, but anyways, guys, like I said, we have some cool stuff today. I'm super excited to check out these all of the players. And go over everything for you guys and maybe even open some packs. But let's see what packs we do up in the store for these cards as well. Because that's going to play a big factor here and how much we can spend a little bit. I've, I've never pulled an LTD ever in my life. Like I've been playing, like I said, since Madden 13, 7 to 10, 7 to 8 Maddens, right? Depending on how that numbers work out. I've never pulled an LTD, not one singular one. So it would be nice. It would be nice to finally pull myself an LTD. And yes, all those packs have opened up in years. And there's been years where I've opened up a lot more packs than, uh, you know, recently. And I've still never pulled anything, which I find pretty crazy. But let's back out real quick, and we'll be right back to check it out. Not up on the block yet, so let's go over the Phillip Rivers over here on the screenshot so we can check it out here. But for the most part, a quarterback, most of their stats will be on the card that we really have to concern ourselves with. 72 speed for Phillip Rivers honestly isn't horrible. To be completely honest with you guys, that is not as bad as I thought it would be. Um, Phillip Rivers could have easily been handed, you know, the, uh, the Brady 65 overall speed treatment, the Kurt Warner treatment. I mean... I have seen him move a little bit in the pocket before, but he's never really been a guy that actually takes off. You know, like he's always been like, I've seen him move, though. I guess if you just move a little bit, you get above, above a 60. Um, throw power, 96. That's great. It's going to be 99. Short accuracy, 97. So, again, going to be a 99 as well there. If you, uh, you can't power him up, though. It's penis. Oh, so you can't power him up? It's weird. Maybe you can, but it doesn't say it there. 96 is medium, 94 deep. So, pretty much here, I probably recommend you go play fake. <clears throat> You'll get maxed out short and medium at 99 and 99 throw power. Throw on a uh, deep action would be 94. You can also get throw under pressure as a 93, 87 throw on the run, 96 play action. This card is insane. Maybe the best quarterback in the game considering, guys, that, you know, this is the year of the uh, field general strong arm quarterbacks, especially considering he's going to have all the accuracy, everything. Now, again, he may not have the speed. He's not going to have the speed, so he, he's going to be the best, probably one of the most accurate, if not the, you know, the best accuracy quarterback, but he's probably not going to overtake the best quarterback just yet because of the speed. Um, people like to have that 85 to 88, you know, like Josh Allen and a few other guys. That's, that's why I hate about thresholds, right? This is my issue. If thresholds weren't a thing, Phillip Rivers could be the best quarterback in the game. Why? Because he'd be more accurate than everyone else. But because thresholds are a thing, a guy like Josh Allen with an 88 speed can be better than him because although his, his accuracy is significantly worse, it does fall into a threshold where all he pretty much get with Josh Allen versus Phillip Rivers is more speed. And the accuracy will all play the same. That's why I hate thresholds. And I really think they need to do... Uh, they need to do away with that in my, in my personal opinion we need to go back to like a simulation style like every rating matters simulation every rating matters that's what i like to see back in ultimate team because that's the issue mud plays like an like um like a meta right doesn't play like a simulation and simulation is fun i think that's that's fun in my opinion i know that everyone's going to be cheesing and everything that's fine but at least cheese having guys that you feel are better than other guys in my opinion right that's just my opinion moving on let's check out the legends we got marshall yanda that's actually really cool just retired i believe last year don't quote me and that could be wrong but Yonda's nice. Yonda's been a staple in Madden for so long. Like if, I remember playing back like in the older Maddens, doing like connected franchise with my friends, doing fantasy drafts and picking up Yonda in like the fifth or sixth round as a right guard because he was a stud, needing someone to block for me. But moving on, 96 strength, 91 awareness, 98 pass block, 94 pass block power, 93 pass block finesse. Overall, pass blocking insane. 98 run blocking, 96 run block power, 98 four run block finesse. Even better run blocker. Marshall is the best guard in the game. 
and he always has been like when you played with Marciano in other games he was like he was like Zach uh, Zach Martin right they could pull they could block like they were like impenetrable walls I loved using him he was like, he, like there's few like okay again it's ultimate team different but when you play like reg teams or connected franchise there's few linemen where you just feel different like Teron Armstead Zach Martin Yonder, those are always the guys you're just like, wow, like they're different. Like those are the guys that you physically see them dominating. You see them turning hips. You see them turning defenders. You see them doing stuff like that. You see them pushing, getting a push at the line. Marciano is one of those guys. Again, it's ultimate team. I don't know how that'll actually play out here, but if for sure, it's for sure is a good card. Dante Samuel returns Smut. Now not returns Smut. Returns with an upgrade, I should say, because he did have his 89 over early in the year. But this is Dante Samuel has been a long-awaited upgrade. I wish the speed got to 96, but 95 speed, 96 excel, 95 agility, 95 jumping, 93 play rack, 95 man, 97 zone, 97, 91 press. Now, this is a cornerback right here now. Only thing with him is he does not get 99 press, but he will get like a 95 press, 96 press. He'll have 99 man, 99 zone, but that jumping, agility, excel, speed, he's, he's going to be like Deion Sanders. You get him and Deion on the same team, and they're looking solid. That's the thing with them. He's going to be like Deion. Because not a lot of corners get you know get they get the play rack and the man in the press in the zone, but they may not have the jump like the jumps only at 90, so they can get over they can get thrown over a little bit. Their agility is only like a, you know a 90 or 91, 92, so sometimes they struggle to turn their hips and get to a ball. Their excel is a bit lower. Sometimes they struggle to catch up. But Asante Samuel is going to have 95 plus on all the athleticism stats. It's crazy. Now I don't remember his exact height. I'm looking up real quick here, but Asante Samuel's height could play a factor too. I want to say he's decently tall, but he could also be small. I, I never really know uh, with guys, because again, from the card art, they all, you know, you could just never really know. He is approximately, let's see, Asante Samuel's height. If he is above six feet tall, he's five foot ten. Okay, so he's small. Smaller guys, so I guess the jumping is necessary. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna be impactful as much as like a taller guy would be. But the jumping's still gonna help. But yeah, I like all three of these. Now let's go check out the blocks, see if they're up, and let's see if we can, you know, try to open some packs for some of them. Right here, we're gonna check the block real quick. If they're not up, I'm still gonna open packs. If they are up, we're gonna. We're definitely gonna open pack. Either way, we're opening packs, right? That's gonna be what we're gonna be doing here. See if we can potentially pull one. But I just don't know. Like, I, I don't think they're up. There's been no in-game messaging. Oh, Marcian is up. Okay, Marcian and Asante Samuel are up. I do not see Philip Rivers though. Now, let's filter this out. Let's go check out. Just in case I was blind and it was a little higher over, I clicked the wrong filter. But other than that, we're gonna go check out the overalls higher up. Oh, we just got a Philip Rivers not so long ago too. That's pretty cool. I forgot about that. All right, let's go open some packs. Uh, there's no in-game messaging just yet, but I imagine they are up. Now, what are the packs here to open up? Uh, I don't want to open up a Legend Fantasy pack because that's going to take up too much. This is 87. These are playoff players, um, 60 overall. Do I do get a golds? Let's try. Let's try get a gold real quick. What would the tribute animation look like? I really have no idea what that would look like, so I have no, I have nothing really to expect here. Let's check out the odds and the get a gold real quick before I do go ahead and I open it. Uh, let's see, 88 plus 4.5. Not too low. Let's open up a playoffs pack, right? Playoffs pack. Okay, playoff pack seems pretty good. Let's try that. Now, if it's a playoff player that's that high overall, I mean, at least I'm making some coins back. So we get an elite right here. We get MJ Stewart Jr., another elite right here. We get Lamar Jackson. That's actually pretty cool. We get a power up. Give me a good one. Dante Hightower. We get an NFL legend. 86 John Randall. We get a gold. And that one, okay, we're going to try one more here. This is going to hurt our coins, but it's worth it for the sake of a video and the sake of uh, trying to pull our first limited time card. We get an elite. 80 Jimmy Garoppolo. We get a let's see, let's see, let's see. 87 Tua. Okay. We get a rookie card. Christian McC Oh, Christian Kirk. Why would they give us the rookie animation for that? Uh, we get a gold series redux. 88 Monta Sweat. And we get one last elite here. 89 Rashawn Gary. I can't tell if I'm losing or making money here. I mean, I probably made like I, you know, honestly, these packs aren't that bad. They're hitting. But that's all the coins we have right now. I got I have to sell that stuff in my binder. I have so much stuff in my binder to sell. That's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. I'm going to check one last time if uh, Rivers is up on the block. Probably not. Tribute cards are you typically in years past super hard to pull. And most, you know, odds are that right now that's an, they're probably not even a game because that's just the deal. But since there was no stream, they can just, you know, plead. They could just plead uh, ignorance and say that, oh, you know, I was an offs. We, if it wasn't in game, you should know better. Yeah, we can't plead the ignorance, right? But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Come join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up. As always, guys, if you've been watching this long, subscribe. Always like the video. And of course, if you guys need coins, pick up the Philip Rivers and you like him, or you want the new legends like Samuel or Leanda, go over to Summer Reserve, pick up some coins. Always cheaper than buying packs. Take advantage. Make sure you use code Poodle for your discount at checkout. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>